is how we install a new print head, place the print heads on the place, and then fix the screw with the screwdriver. And the both sides of the print head. Let's connect the print head cable. When we push up, let's loosen. When we push down, it's tighter. Push up, loosen, then push down, tighter. Push down, loosen, and take the cable out. Okay, and replace it, push down, tighten. The pin with the metal part should be connected with the with inside, like this, and then push down. And tighten again. Take the cover from the ink tube connection part. And then insert the ink tube in each ink tube place. Be careful, the ink tube is small, so we should connect it from the middle and use some power to insert okay and make sure it's insert well before inserting we should make sure the sequence for the ink bottle is correct the first is black, the second is cyan, the third is magenta, the fourth is yellow. Magenta is with magenta and cyan third is with cyan bottle and the last one black is with the last black ink. Prepare each ink bottle and prepare to build in to the ink tank. First, we take the yellow, open the ink cover, and then place it. Simply place it like this into the ink bottle. We can fill it to about 80% of the ink bottle.
After finished, place the cover back and tighten the cover of each ink tank. Later. Because there are airs inside the print head. So now we should prepare an empty bottle. Any empty bottle is okay. And here, the purpose of the ink tube here is for empty the ear inside the print head. So now we can empty the ear. Take out the ink clip like this and make sure the ink won't go on the printer flatbed or won't go to the print head or won't drop to the print head board. The ink will automatically come. If it didn't go, you can do it like this to make sure the ink come come through the ink tube smoothly. During the time, we should place the empty bottle here for the waste ink. As we can see, there are still air for the magenta. So we just simply touch the ink tube to let the ear and the ink go through more easily. How to make sure there's no air inside the ink damper and the print head. We can check by our eye whether there are still bubbles on the ink tube. As we can see. The air is going to the waste ink bottle. Very deep, very deep. Okay, let's check closely. There's no bubbles, no air inside the print head or inside the ink tube. Then we can use the ink clip to click it again. Move it from the front is turn off. Click. Move it to the back side. Is loosened. Okay, now you tighten the ink tube. Make sure there's no air, no ink coming out. Take the ink tube and then wipe it clean. As you can see, there is still some ways that the ink will not drop. This is clicking well, the ink will not drop out. Okay, and here. This is for click the ink tube. They're sticking to the place, so it won't move. Nice.